hi guys welcome to my channel um today's video is by request it will be my most complimented scents these i just wanted to put up here really quick these are the ones that my kids like my 14 year old son says that his absolute favorite ones are marshmallow pumpkin latte and papaya paradise cove excuse my nails um and the other couple are my two-year-old daughters and my seven-year-old son's favorite so we have merry cookie agave papaya sunset into the night raspberry jam donut and strawberry pound cake okay so now on to the actual video wild madagascar vanilla has gotten me so 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 many compliments throughout the years this one i don't think it's on the site right now and i don't have the mist to this but as you can see this one is absolutely adored by me and the scent notes are Madagascar Vanilla, African Pear, Wild Jasmine, and White Sandalwood. This is one of my favorite scents and it gets me so, so, so many compliments from other women. Now, one that has gotten me a lot of compliments from men throughout the years, I don't have and I do not think anybody should be paying a hundred dollars on mercari for it is vanilla lace but uh if you're not too picky <laughs> here are some other options for you i think they're uh pretty decent as far as you know replacements go so you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on Mercari trying to get vanilla lace it's unnecessary it is unnecessary I'm telling you you will get compliments on these it just depends on what your preference is you want you don't mind musk go for vanilla bean noel if you want something a little sharper a little more extracty vanilla go for bonfire bash the body spray smells very 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 heavily a vanilla bourbon so go for the body spray if you want something a little brighter a little creamier go for this one and if you want something a little um that still has that same like uh kind of uh vanilla bean ice cream vanilla i would say go for this one but this one is a little mature without being over the top musky like vanilla bean well so i'm going to start off with sunset glow these first couple are in no particular order but i actually had him tell me his top three so these next ones there are no particular order but sunset glow fresh coconut sparkling cherry seltzer creamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla are the scent notes now people say this one smells like boom boom cream to me the boom 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 cream smelled more like hot crush from pink do y'all remember hot crush i used to get so 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 many compliments on hot crush and of course just like everything else they have taken that one away and they have not brought it back since but that one hot crush if you can get your hands on hot crush that one has gotten me a lot of compliments too but he likes this one of course you know these these would are subject to change um, but you know, we don't really go out and we're not like all up underneath people, but hot crush, warm and cozy. Okay. They still sell warm and cozy. Warm and cozy has gotten me a lot of compliments. So people really like the scent of vanilla. So the next one that my fiance really likes is gingerbread latte and i know i know he likes this one because every time i wear this one i noticed he likes to get really really cuddly <laughs> he really really likes gingerbread latte this just smells like brown sugar the next one that he likes is raspberry jam donut this is one of my favorites too wild raspberry jam powdered sugar warm fluffy donut you guys if you have not gotten to smell this yet just smell it and if you can't get to the store oh that is so so good i mean i wish you could smell it i wish you could smell it smell it can you smell it girl can you smell it it's good it's good girl it's so good so if you haven't got a chance to smell this yet, just try it. It's a really warm raspberry. It's not like, it's not tart at all. 
um, Bath and Body Works. They be making some tart raspberry scents, but this one is nice and warm and uh, jammy. <laughs> the next one he likes is In the Stars. I know this one is very um, polarizing. You either love In the Star, same thing with In the Night. You either love it or you hate it. I personally like In the Stars. Um, my 14 year old son, he says it smells good, but he says it smells synthetic. <laughs> so, In the Stars, if you haven't smelled it, is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. White Agarwood is Oud. If you are familiar with notes in perfumery, which could possibly be why a lot of people don't like it. Because Oud is one of those notes that is like, I mean, you really have to have an acquired uh, taste for that one. I think it's very, very woody and very sweet. You really have to spray it on yourself to get that sweetness. I think when I first sprayed it on the scent card, it just kind of smelled like... Um, expensive furniture to me but on my skin it smells very very sweet and I can kind of understand why people say people say that that one smells um unisex but for me it's it's way too sweet in my opinion for like I think a man could wear it. I think a guy can wear whatever he wants, obviously. But I'm saying, like, the traditional man might think that that's way too sweet and they wouldn't wear it. So, you don't have to be scared that you're going to smell like a boy. You're not going to. So, next up we have, how could you have a list of compliments and fragrances without, <laughs> obviously, you're the one. You're the one is White Birch. Velvety Rose, A Drop of Strawberry Nectar, I love this one, um, and actually I was really surprised to see that he likes this one because this is very mature scent, and you know, a lot of times men don't seem to particularly care for rose, they say it's old lady, but I, I really think that's pretty, it's womanly, that is a womanly fragrance, and he said that one's really good. I really like that one. So, are you guys ready for his top three? Let me move these out the way. Number three, Oahu Coconut Sunset. The notes are Coconut Blossom, Sparkling Bergamot, Beach Tube Rose, Hawaiian Manoi, and Molten Amber. I probably have only worn this once. But I just remember when I got it, he smelled it and he was like, oh, that smells really good. So, that's number three. Number two, one in a million. One of my personal favorites. And actually, this one I get compliments on when I wear out as well, which is really surprising because it's floral. So, um, oh, there's no scent notes. <laughs> I thought there were sit notes on the back of this. Um, jasmine, tuberose, gardenia, cashmere musk, and does this one have pink pepper? I think this one has pink pepper in it, guys. But this one smells like a sweet, it's a sweet white floral. I love it. It is kind of mature. Smells like something that you would get like at Macy's or something. It's really good. And then his number one scent is Papaya Paradise Cove. Fresh papaya, star fruit, water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. A lot of people love this one, and he is no different. This is his number one scent. Papaya Paradise Cove. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below um, if you guys get complimented on any of these fragrances or what are some of your most complimented scents. I'm sure this list will change once we're able to go back out and be around other people without face masks. So thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.